Number 13, state which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. And then we have letter C. So the question is, is Br- amphiprotic? Another word for amphiprotic that your teacher or professor might use is amphoteric. So amphiprotic, amphoteric, tomato, tomato. What this basically means is that a certain molecule or an ion can act as both an acid and it has properties to act as a base. It just depends on the certain situation. Now, how are we gonna know if Br- is amphiprotic or amphoteric? Well, we have to go by the definition of what a Bronsted-Lowry acid base is. The acid, remember, a Bronsted-Lowry acid always donates or loses one hydronium ion, aka H+. But the thing is, is that if you're gonna lose a hydrogen, you gotta have it in the beginning. But if I look at Br minus, I'm looking in the front, I don't see any hydrogens. I'm looking in the back, I don't see any hydrogens. So how can I lose an element that I don't have, right? Since Br minus doesn't have a hydrogen, can it lose it? No. So can it act as an acid? Not here, not never. Actually, not never, two negatives. I guess that would be always. So just never. <laughs> So anyway, in this case, since Br- cannot act as an acid, this is not amphiprotic. And we don't have to do anything else. So amphiprotic. That's the end for this question. Look how easy that was, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.